All right. Here we go. We're going to try this. I got a mirror right here. I'm looking at this mirror straight ahead. Let's try this. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Oh my God, did I just summon the Bloody Mary? Today's battle, people, the Bloody Mary versus the Bunny Man. Some of you are like, what the hell is the Bunny Man? Oh, God damn it. If you don't know who the Bunny Man is, then you shouldn't even be voting yet until you hear both stories between the Bloody Mary versus the Bunny Man. You know the show. What's the bigger story? Could be anything for you. Could be the mystical, could be true life, could be whatever the bigger story is. So by the time I play the intro, go in the, go, go find yourself a mirror right now. Find yourself a mirror, turn off the lights, have a candle, whatever you want to do. And you have to say Bloody Mary three times, they say to work. So while the intro is playing, go do it and let's see if you received the Bloody Mary ghost. Bloody Mary versus the Bunny Man. What's the bigger story? What is it? What's it for you? Is it being spooky at night when you were kids? Come on, let's be honest. How many of you, as kids, gone in the bathroom with friends? I mean, it's the only time you're allowed to go in the bathroom with friends, right? I mean... I, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to go to. It's one thing to see three girls, or four girls go in the bathroom together, but men. So hopefully, if there's like three or four men going in the bathroom, I'm hoping you're doing the Bloody Mary thing. So, what is it? You say Bloody Mary three times, and then when you see the reflection of her, you're not coming out of that bathroom alive. Come on, let's be honest. We all know a lot of you. Have done the Bloody Mary. Come on. A lot of you have done it. I've done it. I've done it right here in this mirror. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Nothing's happened. All right. We're good to go. Now, some say you got to do it at midnight. Some say you got to do it at the witching hour. I mean, there's different theories on when you're supposed to do the Bloody Mary. 3.15 in the morning. I mean, I've, I've heard it all. So, so, you know, to me... To me, what's the correct time to do the Bloody Mary? Well, do we really know? Because if it works, you wouldn't be around to tell the story. Right? You wouldn't be around to tell the story of the Bloody Mary if it worked at 315, right? Because the Bloody Mary don't let you go. Don't let you be free. Now, some of you might not really know the Bloody Mary story. So I found a video. A lot of video were copyrights on it. So I found the video that's uh, a person from another country saying the story, but the story is there. You got to listen to it. Let's find out what is the Bloody Mary. Before we start, Danny has something to say. 
The only Bloody Mary I ever invaded was vodka and tomato juice. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, you know, if, if you can't summon the Bloody Mary, I guess you need to become the Bloody Mary, right? And the best way to become the Bloody Mary is to make yourself a Bloody Mary drink. All right. Let's check out the video about the legend of Bloody Mary first. You may have probably heard of the centuries-old ritual to summon the demonic spirit of Mary Worth, aka Bloody Mary. Here's how I always heard the story. You go to your bathroom and turn all the lights off. You begin, in a whisper, to chant, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. And as you continue to chant, your voice should grow louder and- You know, there is uh, an actually uh, Long Island Bigfoot that says, What's a bunny man? Well, Mike- gonna have to wait after we explain the bloody mary story then then we're gonna dive into what is the bunny man of virginia virginia the maryland area so we're gonna dive into the to the bunny man but first we got to say what the bloody mary is now the Mandela effect of the bloody mary is that people remember that you should have to say bloody mary five times not three times you know, and the and the story goes that the Candyman took that story from Bloody Mary of oh, five times, but now in this timeline, you only say Bloody Mary three times. Does that mean anything? Absolutely not. But I just want to shoot that out there anyway. Louder into a near scream. While you are chanting, you should be spinning around at a medium rate and taking a glimpse in the mirror at each pass. Near the thirteenth repetition of the words, the demonic spirit of Mary would appear in your <laughs> But who was Mary, actually? I can't vouch for the authenticity of this demonic Mary, but there was an actual queen nicknamed Bloody Mary due to her violent actions. Mary Tudor was born in 1516, the daughter of the infamous English king Henry VIII and his first of six wives, Catherine of Aragon. She was the only surviving child of the pair and can therefore be partially credited with influencing the Reformation as Henry's subsequent split with Catholicism was born out of a desire to divorce Catherine in order to sire a male heir. After the split with Catherine and the religious fallout which came with it, Mary's relationship with her father became strained and she was only recalled to his court after signing a humiliating document accepting his religious and patriarchal hegemony having not spoken to him for three I tell you, these kings and stuff, you know, throw away women like it's nothing. I mean, it's a shameful thing. Just throw away people and don't, who cares what happens to the other person? You know, why does a person become a Bloody Mary? It's because you, the people, created the monster. Created the monster. You know, that's how some of these folklore started. Creatures and monsters started because we created them. By not having respect for people. Just saying. For years, despite signing this document, Mary remained a wholehearted Catholic and continued to defiantly celebrate Mass in her own chapel. When Henry died in 1547, he was succeeded by Edward, a stern Protestant, who reduced Mary to tears in front of the court by insulting her religious practices and attempted to strike her out of his will. However, when he died aged just 15 in 1553, Mary was granted with an opportunity. She gathered enough support to overcome Edward's preferred Protestant heir, Lady <laughs> Jane Grey, and her husband, who were both executed, and she was therefore crowned on the 1st of October, 1553. Her next yeah. move was to marry a Catholic, right? King Philip of Spain, in a bid to launch a new Catholic dynasty to rule over England, though this caused a stir, as under English marriage laws, that meant that Philip would own the now Protestant kingdom. Philip, however, was less interested in England than many feared and was often leaving his heartbroken wife to fight Spanish wars. Mary's greatest claim to fame lies with the religious persecutions. During her reign, she had over 280 religious protesters burned at the stake and over 800 eminent protestants felt obliged to flee the country. It is this ruthless treatment of her religious enemies which earned her the posthumous nickname Bloody Mary. So there you go, Bloody Mary was an actual queen who was hated so much by the people that she earned a reputation of haunting people even after her death. Damn. I mean, that's one mean bitch. <laughs> let's, 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 let's be honest right there. That is one mean bitch, okay? That's the type of person that 
that if they're a ghost, they are going to be evil. I mean, 280 religious people burn. Burn. I mean, the, the creation of evil ghosts, that's it. So I can see where if you say her name three times, that the Bloody Mary will come out and get you. And there's so many, so many stories of, of, of people saying true stories of them seeing Bloody Mary. And not, not, just, not just in a mirror, but they've seen Bloody Mary in, in, in different ways. Because I got another story of a scary story about Bloody Mary. Another story on, on where they talk to a Bloody Mary. Not from a mirror, from a different type of story. All right, let's get ready. Because like I said, to do this vote, we have to understand both stories. We have to understand it. All right, let's check out this story. <sighs> One day, I was on my way back from a school party. I was with my friends, but please keep in mind, I was only 20 years old. We were drunk, so we really didn't know Drinking where our Uber age. driver was taking us. Come on. He took us through this road called Sonol in California, and everyone in the car knew this road had a very upsetting story behind it. We didn't care, since we were all drunk, and it was 3 a.m. We just wanted to go home. At what seemed like the end of the ride, the driver stopped at the side of the road and let in this girl. She sat in the back seat of the car. She claimed her name was Mary. All of our hearts dropped when we saw she had a dress on. It was a white dress. She also claimed that her husband dumped her on her wedding night. She said she was trying to find a ride for three hours, but she couldn't since it was too dark outside. When I got a good look at her, I was shaking because she was tearing up blood. I whispered to my good friend Dominic. I told him about the Bloody Mary story. I told him that it took place on this very road and that the girl might be a ghost. Right as I finished that sentence, she looked at me through the rearview mirror with her bright, white eyes and asked us if we were talking about her. My heart dropped once again. We asked the guy to pull over, but he insisted on dropping us off at our location. One of my female friends in the car started crying after Mary started reciting all of our names from the back of the car. We were scared because we didn't tell her our names. Now everyone in the car was crying except for me. It felt like we were driving forever, but it had only been 10 minutes. It got brighter out, and we realized that no one was in the back. It was a night spirit that was there, and it left because it was now morning. Whoa. The next morning, I thought about... Uh-oh. Remember, guys, you guys know Andy, right? Andy's Anthony's partner on Undignified S4. He always makes comments about seeing, want to see pictures of me in the shower. Uh, hopefully, he's not watching this right now because there's a guy taking a shower. About what happened while I was taking a shower. When I looked in the mirror... I saw a scratch on my neck. All right. There's so many different stories about the Bloody Mary, right? So, so I got, I got, I got a short story. Um, uh, basically, uh, a story of girls doing the Bloody Mary at a mirror. So this is what's supposed to happen to you. If you say Bloody Mary three times at the thing, let's see. Movements were slow and deliberate. Oh, hold on. Three friends decided to play Bloody Mary. They stood in front of the mirror in the bathroom. They all said Bloody Mary three times. Suddenly a figure appeared in the mirror. It was a woman. Blood dripped down her face. Her movements were slow and deliberate. As she came closer, they could hear her whispering, her voice raspy and haunting. I have been waiting for you, she said. The friends tried to open the door, but it wouldn't open. They were trapped in the bathroom. They banged on the door, screaming for help, but no one came. When the mother of one of the children came home, she opened the bathroom door and screamed. 
the girls were gone, but all of their blood-filled clothes laid on the floor and their bloody handprints on the cracked mirror. All right. Now, all you people that's in the chat. Wow, well, ain't that many people today. Huh. I guess, I guess people are too afraid of the Bloody Mary story. So the few of you that are here, I want you guys to go right now in your bathroom, turn off the light, do it right now. Go in your bathroom, say Bloody Mary three times, just wait a little bit, and then come back and tell me if it worked. Okay? Okay? So go right now. Go right now. Go in that bathroom. Find that mirror. Say it three times. I got a mirror right here. I got a mirror right here. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. All right. Maybe it's not 3 o'clock in the morning. Maybe it's not the witching hour. So it's not working right now. But, but Anthony, go find yourself a bathroom. And I want you to say Bloody Mary three times. Let's see. Eric. Kiss my ass. <laughs> so, so uh, I guess JoJo's not going to do it. Let's see here. Nope. <laughs> <coughs> I guess I guess, <coughs> I guess she's not going to do it. <laughs> uh, if, if they were gone, how do we know what they were doing? Actually, Paranormal Pixie Lara, you know, I actually brought that up earlier because I said that uh, people have said that Bloody Mary works at different times. Some say the witching hour, uh, midnight, and 11. I'm like, well, how do we actually know the exact hour? Because if it works, they're gone. We want to know, right? So how will we truly know? So, so Danny, did you do it? Did you did you go go did you go say Bloody Mary three times? Cat, how about you? Have you gone to the bathroom yet and said Bloody Mary three times for this experiment? I just did it. Nothing's happened. I want to see if something happens. So, Cat, you want to do it for us? Seems like everybody else is scared to go do Bloody Mary. But Cat, I know you're not scared. So, let me see here. Uh, Danny says, I said Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. But remember, you got to say Candyman five times. So Candyman doesn't work on three times, so it's five times. So if you say Candyman on three times, you're shit out of luck. Nothing's ever going to happen. So Candyman is five times. The ugly name Mary got me. Ah. <laughs> I want a Bloody Mary with blue cheese olives. <laughs> I, uh... I ain't doing it. I don't want no bad mojo coming out of me. But guys, there's a, a famous saying and a band that sang a song on this famous saying, the famous band called Oingo Boingo. Oingo Boingo, one of the best bands ever. Nothing to fear but the fear itself. So guys, we need to, we need to, we need to conquer that fear, my friends. Conquer the fear. So to, for us to conquer the fear, you got to go in front of that mirror and say Bloody Mary three times. I know Ron will go do it in front of a mirror. My ex name, Mariko. I already know what will happen if I say it. Ron, if you already know, then we, for you, for this team, find that mirror and let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Roger is totally right. Well, how do we know? But Kat, how do we know that Roger is completely right? Somebody's got to do it. I just did it in front of a mirror. Look at me. I'm still here. You know, I got a dog cutting gas. I guess that's, well, I guess that's bad enough, right? That's pretty bad. You know, uh, <laughs> let's see. Paranormal Pixie Laura. I know you got gifts. I know for the good 
of the team, the good of the community, the good of the community. I know you will go front of that mirror for us and say it three times. So let us know, Laura. <laughs> Everybody want Laura to do it for us? <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, anyway, I'll go do it now. But see, there we go. So, guys, if we don't hear back from Ron, if we don't hear back from Ron, we know something's happened. Okay? So, Ron, you're a good man. You're a good man. All right? And if it doesn't work, Ron, try at the witching hour. At 3.15 in the morning, do it at 3.15 in the morning. Uh, do, do the whole effect. Do it. Hey, hey, you know what I should have done? I should have done it. I didn't even think about it. How stupid am I? I should have recorded. I should have done it last night, 3.15 in the morning, and recorded myself doing it. I missed a real opportunity. Damn. Damn. All right. Now, we're going to be jumping over to the bunny, man. But for now, let's check out the votes. What do we got so far? Well, 81% says so far that the bloody man, the, the, the bloody man, the bloody Mary is the bigger story, 81% to 19%. And listen, bloody Mary is a lot like the gremlin book story, right? They're kind of like king of the king of the, of the top. No, no, no other story is really going to top it. And, and believe it or not, a lot of people don't even know about the bunny man bridge. Out there in Virginia, which is surprising to me. You know, a lot of people don't never even heard of the Bunny Man Bridge. You know, so what is the Bunny Man? Still, he oh, guys, Ron is still here with us. Whew. I was getting worried for a second, but Ron, you got to do it at three fifty. Now, Ron, I want you to try it at three fifty, guys. How about this? Everybody in the chat, everybody tonight at 3.15, go do it, record yourself, and on tomorrow's live show, we'll show videos of everybody doing the Bloody Mary at 3.15 in the morning. Okay? All right? All right. The Bunny Man. The Bunny Man story. If this is your first time ever hearing about the Bunny Man, you came to the right show. What other show would you go to to discuss the Bunny Man? Here we go. The story of the Bunny Man. After the Civil War, Fairfax County, Virginia became more populated, and eventually an insane asylum was built there. There were protests, and it wasn't long before the asylum was shut down. The administration transferred the patients in 1904 to a new building, but during the transfer, some of the patients escaped and hid in the surrounding woods and forestry. These individuals were lost, delusional, and dangerous. Most of them were found, except Marcus Loster and Douglas Griffin. Whoa. But it wasn't long before the local authorities found a trail made by the two men. It was littered with half-eaten, mutilated bunnies. The trail led deep into the woods to a tunnel crossing a wide creek. There, they found Marcus hanging from the tunnel entrance, with a note attached to his foot. It read, You'll never find me no matter how hard you try. Signed, The Bunny Man. That tunnel has been called Bunny Man Bridge ever since. The legend says that if you walk all the way down to the tunnel at around midnight, the Bunny Man will grab you and hang you from the entrance of the bridge. Strange deaths and phenomena have constantly been connected with the Bunny Man Bridge. There was a young man from Clifton, Virginia, who came across the bridge while traveling. Later, 
he killed his parents and dragged their bodies into the woods to hang them from the bridge, before killing himself. In 1943, three teenagers were found dead, hung from the bridge. Their bodies were slashed open and all had notes attached to their feet. Their notes stated, You'll never catch the bunny man. In 2001, after hearing the tale, six local students and a guide searched the area, only to find mutilated bunnies during their search. They soon left the forest after they heard noises and caught glimpses of a figure in the woods. The bunny man. Wow. So if you go to the bridge at midnight, the bunny man might get you. You might be hanged or possession. Man, man, uh, here, I got another, I got another short video of what the bunny man <laughs> kind of looks like. <laughs> Let, let's check out what the bunny man might look like. 1904, an inmate of a nearby asylum escaped during a transfer and was never found. The man was said to be wearing a bunny suit and was known to wield an axe. Years later in the 1970s, you know, I start to, you know, but, but seriously, guys, if you go down to this bridge and you see somebody in a bunny man suit with an axe or a chainsaw, are you going to take a chance and get, or are you going to get the fuck out of there? <laughs> right? Are you going to take a chance and, and, and see if this, somebody's, playing a prank on you or or take a chance to see if the bunny man's a ghost. Now I lived in Maryland for a while. I lived in Maryland for a while. I used to go to Virginia a lot. We almost bought a house in Virginia when we were thinking about staying before we moved back to Washington. And people believe in the bunny man. People believe they, they say the bunny man is still there. The bunny man haunts the bridge. And they say that, 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 that there's stories that people who've gone through the bridge the next day, they've done some bad things. Like, like they were possessed by the bunny man. So even though they weren't hanged at the bridge, some story goes that they have hurt themselves. They've hurt others after they left the bridge. But wouldn't that be scary <laughs> to see somebody in a bunny suit with a chainsaw? If it's not Bruce Campbell with the chainsaw, I'm not going to stop by and shake his hand. I'm just saying. There were reports of a man in a bunny suit wielding an axe near an old... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this is not funny. but <laughs> I know this is not funny. I'm sorry. But... but... To see, to see somebody in a pink bunny outfit swinging an axe, you know, it's, 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 you almost feel sorry for the person. Even if the person is sane and, and is sanity. What's this? What does Shelly say here? Miss Lara, there's a place around here that have a bunch of plastic uh, plastic Barbie dolls and dolls head stuff hanging out of the tree. People are freaking strange. Yes, people are strange. I mean, can you imagine seeing a man in a pink bunny outfit swinging an axe? Woo! <laughs> Easter's a bit early. <laughs> Oh, my, my friend, Butchcraft family, on the paranormal highway, nothing's ever too early. We explore everything. Old bridge in the same area. The man was said to attack people and leave behind a trail of bloody bunny paw prints. 
One story goes that a couple was parked near the bridge when they saw a figure in a bunny suit approaching their car, shouting at them to leave. The couple drove off, but their car stalled a short distance away. When the man got out to check the engine, he saw the bunny-suited figure approaching him with an axe. The couple managed to escape, but not before the bunny man smashed their car window. You know, I think Ron said, um, uh, he, he, I think, did, did, did Ron say he used to live in that Virginia town or whatever? Because Ron's going to have to go back for us and record himself going to the bridge. Now, I got another, I got one more video of, of a kid going to the bridge at midnight. It's kind of cool. I, I give this kid a lot of credit. Is the bridge now? Of course, he's having a car falling behind him. Yes, I lived in Fairfax, Virginia. Ron, you're gonna have to go to that bridge, the bunny, the bunny man bridge at midnight and do this. Now, I don't want a car following you because, because you know. That's kind of cheating. The kids should have went in the bridge without a car following them. You know, to 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 see if any parts of the legend. But I give them credit for doing this. Let's do it again. Let's watch it. That's a small, that's a small tight little bridge or a uh, little bridge, isn't it? How was it? That was supposed to be the part we just drove away. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know. They did it. Now I see you guys now. Since you learned about the bunny man on how legend goes that people get hanged, uh, uh, people have taken their parents out and murdered them, would any of you go walk through the bridge exactly at midnight? I'm just curious. I bet you on Halloween, I bet you a lot of kids drive out there to the bunny uh to the bunny man bridge and go across at midnight on Halloween. You know what I mean? It just has that it just has that spook. That's what people say. And he whispers, <laughs> you you ate the ears. I would say honk my horn on him. <laughs> Uh, uh, good one. Let me see here. Ron, you had Shadow Man experience. I bet Bunny Man would come out for you. Ooh, you know, Cat, that's a good one. He did have the Shadow Man experience. So, would would the Shadow Man be out there for him? Cat, I forgot about that. That's a good one. All is good. Still getting settled in the new place. Yeah, Ron, moving sucks. I mean, there's no way around it. You know, I know it's nice once you're done, once you're moving, but the process of moving just sucks. You 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 have more stuff than you imagine <laughs> after you're moving. So moving sucks. I would go out there mid at, out at midnight. Yeah, I would too. Park the car. I don't want a car following me. I would walk straight through that bridge. See, if a man in a bunny suit, what but what would you do if a guy jumps out in a bunny suit? Would you laugh or would you run? All right, let's check out the voting so far. Let's see here. Um we haven't got a whole the hell just happened we something happened here um, I went to go check the voting thing and and it kind of disappeared on me 
Hold on, so let me hit refresh. Hmm. Oh, let me see here. All right, 80, here we go, 19 votes. 84% is for Bloody Mary, 16% Bunny Man. All right. Now, what do I think? To me, what's the bigger story? Because they're both, they're both legends. You know, they're both, you know, I guess I would have to say, for me, the bigger story is going to be the, is going to be a uh, Bloody Mary. And the reason I choose Bloody Mary, which, listen, uh, uh, being killed by a, a woman bleeding ain't nothing new. I don't know if that would make the news. Being killed by a guy in a bunny suit, that would probably be all national news. So if there's a news story of being killed by one versus the other, it would probably be the man in the bunny suit, the one that would be all over the news instead of a, a, a crazy woman all blood on her killing you. But the reason I'm going to choose for myself the Bloody Mary because, because to prove these theories, I'm just saying if, if, if there's truth to these, to these stories, at least any, anybody, anybody can do the Bloody Mary at their own house. You just need a mirror. Uh, do it at midnight, three o'clock in the morning, and say Bloody Mary three times. Any one of us can do that. Any one of you right now can do Bloody Mary. Now, if you want to prove the theory of the Bunny Man, you have to be in Virginia. You have to go to Virginia to the Bunny Man Bridge. You know, so so that's a, that's that's a lot of work. You know, I, um, when I went to the Bunny Man Bridge, because, you know, there was a time I lived in Fedrick, Maryland, and we would, uh, my brother and I, we used to go exploring around the area, and we went to Virginia to explore the Bunny Man Bridge, right? You know, I mean, of course, nothing's happened. I, I'm here today. I guess, I hope that's a good thing. So, you know, so so you have to go to, to that. You know, now, Anybody, any crazy in the same person can put on a, a suit and, and go swing an axe, chainsaw around. But you could get a woman all in blood to attack you from a mirror? That's huge. That's magical. A possession. We all know possessions are real in the paranormal world. We all know possessions are real. We all know that's real. Right? Possession. So the bunny man possessing somebody is nothing that's nothing new. That that power is there. What kind of power that a ghost, a demon would need to be able to get you from a mirror. You know what I mean? That's power. Let me see here. How many have you done the Bloody Mary thing in the mirror? I've done it. That's a good question. Hold on. Let's do that. Let's do that. Everybody who's here, for whatever reason, not a lot of you. Hmm. I guess a lot of people don't like me anymore. I don't know. <laughs> so have uh, put yes if you've done it. Put no, you have not done it. So yes, you have done the Bloody Mary. Put no if you have not done the Bloody Mary. More movies on Blood and Mary. I don't think I've heard of a Bunny Man movie. You know what, Butchcraft Family? You know what? You're probably correct on that. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, hold on. Woodcraft Family? Oh, just Google. There is three Bunny Man movies. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm like, we should make a movie about the Bunny Man. But there's already three movies on it. All right. Roger says no. Have not done it. Cat says no. Up, oh, Donnie uh, Darko. Yeah, that's true. 
the bunny. Yep. There's a bunny man in that. That's a good one. That's a damn good one. So Roger said they haven't done it. Cat haven't done it. Okay, so Roger and Cat hasn't done it. So Roger and Cat, your homework for tonight is at three. Do it at three fifteen. Do it at three fifteen. At three fifteen a.m. Your homework, Roger and Cat, is go do the Bloody Mary and report back to me tomorrow during my show. All right, guys. But the few of us that are here today, which is weird. Nobody's here today. Weird. Oh, well. The few of us that are here today, if we had not in a million years, Cat, my friend Cat, you had to take one for the team. You're part of this community. As being part of the community, this is your way to do the experiment for the good of us all. You know what I mean, Kat? I mean, think about it. If I don't see you tomorrow on the show, you proved that the Bloody Mary story is real. You could do that for us, Kat. And we will all thank you for that. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll get an F. On the homework. I ain't doing it. I'll leave that for everyone else. All right, guys. Let's do the battle. You know we've been doing this battle lately on the show. If we had a boxing ring. You put the Bloody Mary in the ring. To box against the Bunny Man. Wouldn't that be a sight to see, right? A woman with all blood on her, bleeding from her eyes, boxing a man in a in, <laughs> in a in a bunny suit. That would be a pay per view pay per view fight that I guarantee would generate a lot of money, a lot of money. So let's say, all right, if the bunny bloody Mary gonna fight the bunny man. Who will win that fight? Now, technically, in theory, the man is supposed to have more strength versus the woman. Average. I'm just saying on average. The man is stronger than the woman. But this woman, this woman is crazy. She's insane. Remember, she want revenge. That woman has murdered 280 religious people by fire. So who will win the fist fight? Who will win the fist fight? The Bunny Man or the Bloody Mary? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that for everyone else. Buzzcraft's like, you can do it. I agree, Buzzcraft family. I think she should do it for the team. Do it for the community. Do it to see if it's real. Roger, we're not crazy. I'm not saying you're crazy. I, that's the point of why, why, why I want you two to do it. Because you're both not crazy. I want... Two non-crazy people to do it. Because listen, listen, listen. I don't want Danny Stanton to do it. Because if Danny Stanton stands at 3.15 a.m. in the morning saying Bloody Mary three times, Danny might be high. <laughs> he might be a little happy at 3.15 in the morning. I don't want a person that might be high doing, doing the uh, Bloody Mary thing. Right? I don't want somebody high. I need somebody who's sober. No drugs in the system. No marijuana in the system. I need I need a I mean I need a sober person as we speak to do the Bloody Mary. So that's why we need Cat and Roger to do it. I did I did as a kid and nothing. Oh, that don't count. We gotta do it now. Uh did Bloody Mary did Bloody Mary, it's real. Ooh, the Ladgers Project. Ooh, may may we ask you why? I mean, I mean, believing in a story is one thing, but but did you have an experience with the Bloody Mary thing, or 
did you witness somebody else had an experience with the Bloody Mary thing? I need to know this. This, please let us know. <laughs> uh, judging by your poll, Blow, Bloody Mary makes rabbit stew. <laughs> and and, and uh, knowing Danny, before 3.15, uh, Danny would probably have a lot of Bloody Mary drinks before he even do it. <laughs> yeah, I see Bloody Mary. No, Danny, you didn't see Bloody Mary. You're seeing your own drink, Bloody Mary. <laughs> Uh well, me and your brother Bob are out. <laughs> That's why I can't have them do it. Well, I'm out then. <laughs> Laura, I want you to do that. Let's see here. I'd rather wrestle Bigfoot or a box with the dog man before doing anything with Bloody Mary. <laughs> All right, but 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 in a fight, but in a fight, who won the fight? Bloody Mary, was she beat up? Funny man, or with the strength of a man over top a crazy woman with blood on her. So who win that fight? Put in the chat right now. Bloody Mary will win the fight, or the Bunny Man will win the fight. So put that in the chat. I want to know what you guys think. As soon as I finish my stereo in my bedroom, turn off by itself and blast the Hell's Bells by ACDC. As soon as I finish my my uh, stereo in my bedroom turn on by itself and blast the hell's bells by ACDC. Hey, listen. Even the ghost likes ACDC. ACDC is, is, is the world. Now, now, if the ghost turned on my stereo, I would hope at least AC, you know, they would play me Highway to Hell. I love Hell's Bells. But come on, baby. Highway to hell. Bon Scott. Hmm. That's cool, Lost Project. You're saying that just that right now? That's awesome. All right. Bloody Mary. Dana's, Dana's saying Bloody Mary would beat up the bunny man. Oh, well, hey, listen. If I'm gonna have to choose a fight between the bunny man and the woman, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to fight the bunny man because I'm not going against a crazy woman. Who has blood coming out of her eyes? All right. True story. Oh, I I believe you. I believe you. I just I just rather have the ghost play Highway to Hell. I love Hell's Bells, but I would rather the ghost play Highway to Hell. Minnie makes rabbit stew and save Bunny Man's feet for good luck. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Denny Denny's an awesome guy. Okay, guys, um, let me bring up something real quick. Let me bring up, uh, give me a second here. Okay, here we go. Tomorrow is going to be a fun show. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to share the screen. Uh, I have to do share screen, share screen. Tomorrow... Is gonna be different. Tomorrow's gonna to, uh, I'm gonna have um I'm gonna have Dr. Wu and Danny come on. Tomorrow is movies that accidentally predicted the future events. Movies that somehow have future events, and this is designed to be fun. Designed to be fun. That's all this movie's gonna be. Uh, uh, the show's gonna to be tomorrow. It's about to have fun. It's like so. So it's it's. No paranormal, no Bigfoot, no UFO on tomorrow's show. We're going to talk about movies that some, somewhat predicted the future. Right? You can see some of the movies that I put on here. So, so tomorrow's show, tomorrow's show, oh, there, there are a lot of movies. Oh, there, oh, there's a lot of movies. But, but tomorrow... I'm going to, the idea is tomorrow, I'm going to come to me, to you and tell you my number one movie that I felt that had a lot of futuristic stuff in it. And then Danny's going to do the same thing. And then Dr. Wu is going to do the same thing. And like I said, tomorrow is Friday. Is this designed to have fun or not? And then remember everybody, there's no show on next Monday. 
because Saturday morning I'm taking off to the Olympic Mountains to do a three day uh, Bigfoot investigation. So I'm gonna be up in the Olympic Mountains uh, doing a Bigfoot investigation, and um, you know the Olympic Mountains is supposedly the hottest spot of Bigfoot activity. They they say in the whole world. They say that the Olympic Mountains, which I've been up there plenty of times, I never had an Bigfoot experience. But I'm not gonna say I was out there automatically uh, uh, searching for the Bigfoot. But in this trip, for three days, my main goal is to find Bigfoot. So that's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. King of the Hill. Oh, yeah, there, there's, there's, there's a lot. Look at the region. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of that stuff's going to be brought up tomorrow. A lot of that stuff's going to be brought up tomorrow. So tomorrow is kind of just a uh, 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 a fun Friday to bring some stuff that you know, and there's some stuff they did in some movies that something really did happen, like a, like a sport event really did happen according to a, a certain movie that a, that a city never even had a team when this movie was made. Then this town got a team. And it did exactly what they said in a movie. So there's fun stuff like that. And I really hope yeah, I see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what happened to everybody, everybody today. I guess everybody's on uh, on their last uh, uh, weekend, summer breaks. Because, uh, you know, high schools are going to be starting back up in September. I think I heard a lot in the Midwest and back east, schools already started. I heard a lot of schools already started in August. Like, wow, that's weird. I never started school back until September, but I, I heard a lot of schools uh, started. Jojo, I I hope you're there. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what happened to everybody today, but guys, you know the main the main idea of these of uh, verses is not to say one story is better than the other. It's kind of a cool way to tell the legends of these two stories, and ha kind of have fun doing it. A lot of people have never heard of the Bunny Man. Now they have. So I know next time, if some of you are in Virginia, you might be looking for the Bunny Man Bridge. And if you're looking for the Bunny Man Bridge because of me, that's a compliment. That, that's that's awesome. You know, uh, I don't think, if I remember, I think Ron said that he didn't know about the Bunny Man. I, I can't remember. And now I bet you if, if Ron is... Back in that area, Ron will go to the Bunny Man Bridge and, and go across that bridge. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to see. So, my sister, my sister grandkids started school last week in West Virginia. Wow, school in August. Wow, wow. See, see. Now Ron will. Do the bunny bridge now? Remember, Ron. It's supposedly, it's supposed to be supposedly at midnight. So beyond that, uh, guys, I want to thank all of you for uh, uh, being here. Uh, this is fantastic. You know, this is just, uh, you know, I just want to have fun. That's all it is. Um, like I said, uh, you might not see me in nobody's chat over the weekend. That's because I'm in the Olympic Mountains. Um, Researching for Bigfoot. And one thing I will tell you. One thing I will tell you. The one thing I will never do. I will never ever fake a sighting. I would never see an animal and try to, try to exaggerate that animal to a Bigfoot. I would never do that. I would never do that. If I catch nothing, if I, I see nothing, well, so be it. I would never exaggerate just because I want another, uh, 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 I want to catch a sighting on, on a camera or a video. I won't do that. A lot of channels would. A lot of channels would exaggerate on purpose. I would never pull Zach on anybody. Never. 
because that does nothing for anybody out in these communities. When we're, we're they said, I know we're just having fun today, you know, but these stories of the bunny man and, you know, like bloody Mary, they're, they're stories there for a reason. I can't prove if these stories are real or not, if there's a real spiritual side of it, but these stories are out there. And you just heard from the Lazarus earlier that she believes it is real. And she was like having experience. She just said her stereo turned off and ACDC Hell's Bells came on, like giving her a message. So weird things do happen. But just like I said, I wouldn't. Uh, uh, this is uh, a rock is a rock. A Bigfoot is a Bigfoot. Exactly. A rock is a rock. A Bigfoot is a Bigfoot. You know? And but, but you guys know what I mean. I mean, I, I know people who become actors when they're looking at something. Because it, it, it it's it's they become actors and, and they, they have pretend like like they got these feelings of what they're seeing could be a Bigfoot. You see it all the time. That they're trying to suggest to you, oh my God, he is seeing it. And they're doing it by getting into your feelings. It's no different than hearing this certain kind of a white noise and somebody says, oh, I know what it says. It said, you're going to die today. And then everybody else hears it, right? You could do that with the sighting. Oh no, did you hear that? Hear what? What do we hear? I'm <laughs> I'm curious now. What do we hear? I'm curious. <laughs> Butchcraft family. What did you hear? I I, I gotta know. What? Oh no! Did you hear that? Like, did you hear something at your own house, or did you hear something here? What did you hear? Oh God! I gotta know before we before we end the show. Butchcraft family. You can't. You can't put us on that pedestal. You know, did you hear that? What did we hear? Eric, he is saying that what they do while on um, investigations. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. I got it. <laughs> He's right. And I won't do that. I'm going to have fun. I bought a, a, I bought a special light to shine at nighttime that's supposed to work on a Canon camera. And hopefully it does. And beyond that, I it's just... You guys are all awesome, wonderful people, and uh, we're going to have fun tomorrow's show. Tomorrow's about predictions of the movies. And, Ron, if, you, if you're around tomorrow morning, if you're around, if you want to jump on, too, to tell us some of your movies that you feel uh, uh, had predicted the future, it's just a kickback, laid back, just to have fun. So beyond that, I'll see you all, all few of us, on Paranormal Highway. Uh -huh.